hydrates are crystal lattices with water molecules trapped inside in a whole number mole ratio. For example, this is copper sulfate hydrate. The hydrate means that trapped inside the crystal lattice, there are water molecules. How many? Well, for every mole of copper sulfate, there are five moles of water molecules. We would write that as CuSO4 dot 5H2O to indicate that for every one mole of copper sulfate crystals, five moles of water molecules are trapped inside the crystal. To find the percent of water in the hydrate, what we need to do is take the hydrate and heat it up until all the water has been removed from it. Once all the water has been removed from it, you weigh the water, you divide it by the mass of the entire hydrate, and you multiply by 100 to get the percent of water in the hydrate. If you're given the formula, there's a different way of doing it. So we have calcium sulfate dot 2H2O. And to find the percent of water, very simply, you're going to take the mass of two H2Os and divide it by the mass of CaSO4 dot 2H2O. Now let's see. Hydrogen weighs 1.0, and there's two of them. That's 2.0. Oxygen weighs 16.0. So a mole of water weighs 18.0 grams per mole. Now in this formula, there's two waters. 2 times 18 is 36.0 grams. So in this formula, there's two waters. Each one's 18.0 for a total mass of 36.0. We'll divide that by the formula mass of the calcium sulfate with the water trapped in it. Now, the two waters weigh 36.0. What does the calcium sulfate weigh? Well, calcium weighs 40.1. Check it out on the periodic table. Sulfur weighs 32.1. And the four oxygens at 16 each weigh 64.0. So let's add that up. 40.1 for the calcium, 32.1 for the sulfur, 64.0 for the four oxygens, and the 36.0 for the two water molecules gives us a grand total of 172.2 grams, which you will then multiply by 100 to get your final answer. 36.0 divided by 172.2 gives us a total percent of 20.9% water. So 20.9% of the mass of this hydrate comes from water. Let's suppose we arrive at this from experimental means. Let's say we've got a hydrate, and the hydrate weighs 3.00 grams. And then we take that hydrate and we heat it until all the water is driven off. Well, if you were heated until all your water were driven off, your mass would drop. Same thing goes here. We call a crystal without water in it an anhydride. Think dried. Anhydride. After the water has been driven off, it has a mass of, let's say, 2.50 grams. We want to find the percent of water? Easy. First, figure out how much water you drove off. If it weighed three grams with the water and two and a half grams without the water, then simply subtract to get the mass of the water that was trapped. And that equals 0 0.50 grams. And that's the mass of water that was driven off when the hydrate was heated and turned into an anhydride. To get the percent, we take the mass of the water, 0 0.50, that's the part, divided by the whole, what the water was a part of, 3.00 grams, multiply by 100, and that gives us 17%. Two sig figs because of the two sig figs here. So 17% of the hydrate's mass is water according to our experimental data. Three grams before we drove the water away, two and a half grams after we drove the water away, which means that half a gram of water was driven off. Half a gram of water made up the original three grams. 
0.5 divided by 3 times 100, 17% water. And that's how you find the percent of water that's trapped inside of a hydrate.